Morning. So we're in the studio today. It's very, very early. It is 5 a.m. And we're about to work on the whole week of projects. Um, I've committed to, in 2015, actually doing one painting every day for 365 days. So I'm gonna hold you guys accountable for holding me accountable for actually accomplishing this feat. Um, I mean, considering probably the only time of, no. I really can't think of anything I've done every day for a year. I mean, does drink wine count? <laughs> I mean, sleep? I, mean, I don't even sleep every day. Like, I guess I eat, I consume food, or some so sort of nutrients. Um, yeah, probably just the, the eating and the wine thing. Anyways, this year, we're doing a painting every single day. You're holding me to it. Uh, it is 5.20 in the morning, um, and we're going to start with a little coffee and some recycled canvases. So, check it out. Okay. So the key to prepping for this week is to prime seven canvases. That way I can actually get through the week. Just like prepping meals, uh, making sure that my canvases are ready to go when it's time for me to paint is going to allow me to follow through um, with this painting everyday thing. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to take um, some old canvases. These are canvas boards that we use during our classes. Um, I let the students, I show them some blending techniques and then I let them use them so that if they want to try anything, um, make some mistakes on this board as opposed to on their canvas, they can. So we have an old board here. Um, we're just going to recycle it. And how we're going to do that is we're going to cover it with black acrylic paint. So um, today we're going to use my acrylic paint. Um, it's called wet paint, as you can see. And um, it's just an acrylic water-based paint. So I'm going to take the black uh, and I'm going to cover the whole canvas. That's going to be my first step. I'm going to use this brush right here because it's my favorite. It's long enough. seven canvases that are covered in black acrylic. Um, you notice the coverage doesn't even have to be all the way over it. Some of the yellow is shining through. doesn't really matter because for this week's project I'm going to use one of my favorite products that gives me a background for abstraction um, and it's called Chroma Crackle. This guy right here. And you can get it at any art store. Uh, basically what it does is depending on how much you use, how thick you put it on, it pulls up the paint that's underneath of it and creates kind of like a cracked, aged, interesting feeling to the painting. So um, I'm going to prime them with that. That way this week when I work as abstract with these little canvases, I can use that as a background to kind of move them around. So the first step is to just get the tube out. Um, you can squirt it all over. I say, you know, just kind of wherever you want to go. And then you'll notice on the canvas that it's just kind of sitting there. What I do is I just take my hand and kind of move it around. And then we have to let it dry for about four hours. Um, so I'm going to let that happen. And then I'm going to come back and show you the next part. Jeez. Maybe we should have a glass of wine. 
I mean, it's like almost seven. <laughs> no? All right. You sure? Let's check them out. So these are super cool. <clears throat> this is after an hour. You can see how it pulled up white on top of the black. I don't see any other colors. And you can actually see that there's, where I put it thicker, um, it's not dry yet. So I tried to create different designs on them. I really like that one. That's cool. Kind of looks like you can see a little face there, like a little raccoon or something. I don't know. That one's pretty cool. So we'll let them dry for another couple hours. See what comes of them.